Netanyahu bloc fails to secure majority in Israel. Here's a summary of the article. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's right-wing bloc appears to have failed to secure a parliamentary majority in Monday's general election. After voting ended on Monday and exit polls were published, Mr. Netanyahu told supporters in Tel Aviv that he had won a victory against all odds. Benjamin Netanyahu declared a huge victory on election night. Mr. Netanyahu will deploy all his political skills to persuade opposition MPs to defect. Another option for Mr. Netanyahu could be to challenge the opposition to vote down a minority government, risking the wrath of electors who do not want a fourth election in quick succession. Likud officials are looking to bring in defectors from rival parties to get the 61 seats they need for a majority. Mr. Netanyahu has strongly denied any wrongdoing, saying he is the victim of a politically motivated witch hunt. This post received a score of 2,327, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Fails to get majority but it's his party's best showing in the last three elections. His trial starts in two weeks or less. Didn't stop voters. His dirty laundry wasn't aired yet, and once it is, do you think more people will vote for him? I'm used to being disappointed by voters. A democracy ensures a nation gets the leaders it deserves. Categorizing a nation as a democracy is not a binary proposition. Democracy is on a continuum and there are degrees of democracy. Israel is more democratic than say the US with its more republican federal model. I suppose that is up for debate. The index I posted a link to describe them both as flawed democracies, with the US just edging out Israel by a few meager points. It's from last year but this riff by the Arab party on Netanyahu's desperation to secure a coalition always makes me laugh. Wait I don't get it, did he actually offer all that or is the joke that the Arabs would never make a deal with this guy? It's a joke of how desperate he was to form a coalition, especially one that would shield him from his criminal charges. Wait so is there going to be a fourth election or something? It's my understanding that now the second place party now gets a chance to form a coalition government. If that fails, then there will be a fourth. Netanyahu will get a chance to form a coalition first. He'll try to convince three ministers to go rogue and join his coalition. If that fails then blue and white might get to shoot their shot. I don't fancy their chances to be honest. If a fourth election happens then the left wing and especially blue and white need a new game plan, maybe push a new, more charismatic leader, or actually share their ideas instead of vaguely identifying as centrists so none of their voters gets offended. It's been a shit show so far. Blue and white isn't left wing by any standard. They are right wing too. Center right. Netanyahu should be in prison for corruption and war crimes. But the economy is good so does that really matter? Israeli voters. Also American voters. Evangelical voters, specifically. They need Israel to validate their insane beliefs, specifically the rapture. Evangelicals are fucking insane. Opening square bracket. And they call Muslims lunatics. This Knesset cinematic universe is getting a bit repetitive. Need a big shake-up in the next sequel. The Brexit series is confirmed for the last season and the number of spin-offs is up in the air, so there is hope yet. We can confirm at least one spin-off. The early event in this season with the devolution of the Northern Irish Parliament has mostly gone unnoticed, but it is a guarantee of a spin-off. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.